Have you ever wondered how the Britney originated? Well, stick around because today we're going to be diving into the history of this fascinating breed. Welcome back to the Fenrir Britney Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video and take a look at the history of the Brittany. The exact origin of this breed is somewhat shrouded in mystery, and it's difficult to pinpoint when exactly they first appeared. We do, however, know that they were first bred in France in the province of Brittany, hence where the breed got its name from. The first documentation of the Brittany can be traced back all the way to paintings and tapestries from the 17th century. In the 1850s, English gentry would travel to Brittany to hunt woodcock, and it was common practice for them to leave behind their hunting dogs with local residents until the next shooting season. It's therefore believed that during these periods, the local residents mated their own liver and white spaniels with the Englishman's pointers and setters. This would account for the diversity of the colours that can be seen in today's Brittany's. A written description by a man named Reverend Davies in 1850s details small bobtailed dogs who excelled in pointing and retrieving. It's believed that during this time the Brittany was being refined through mating with English setters. They were being used for pointing and retrieving skills by hunting parties, and due to their proficiency in smelling out and hunting down birds. In 1907 the breed was first recognised when a dog named Boy was registered in France. As a result, a French breed club was formed and this was quickly followed up by the first breed standard in 1908. The breed was first recognised in America in 1931 and in 1934 the American Kennel Club added the breed to their list of recognised breeds. Brittanies were first known as the Brittany Spaniel, however in 1982 the word Spaniel was dropped from their name in recognition of the fact that the breed points rather than flushes games as Spaniel does. Today, the Brittany is the smallest of all the breeds in the Gundog category. Hey guys, if you want perfect puppies, like all my mates here are, and you're interested in how it is that as a professional canine behaviourist, I go about raising and training perfect puppies, I have a completely free course that I think you might be interested in called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. There'll be a link down in the description box below. It is completely free of charge and you can go and check it out right now. So I can't wait to see you over there. The Brittany is a medium sized breed with a gorgeous colour coat that sets them apart from any other looking dog. Both male and female Brittanies stand at 17 to 20 inches at the withers and weigh between 30 and 40 pounds. Brittanies have a dense, flat or wavy coat that should be brushed twice a week to ensure their coat stays clean and free of tangles. Because the Brittany is, at heart, a working dog and hunting dog, they have a tremendous amount of stamina, speed and character. By nature, they're an energetic and active dog that loves to be kept busy. They make wonderful family pets and companion dogs for people who lead a more active outdoor lifestyle. They're great company on long walks, hikes or bike rides, but can also excel in dog sports like agility and fly ball, which also helps meet their high energy requirements. When training a Brittany, it's important to get a head start and carry this out as early as possible. They have the ability to be well-rounded, obedient dogs, but this comes with consistent work and excellent socialisation. A Brittany that's not well trained in early life has a potential to run off at the sight of anything interesting in the distance. Fortunately, they are very intelligent dogs and are usually easy to train. The Brittany's working past has moulded the breed into a highly intelligent, focused and dedicated dog today. They make ideal canine companions that are best suited to very active owners who enjoy the great outdoors and can offer consistent hands-on training. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down on the comments section below, and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Britney videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Britney Show.